Welcome to Mintera 3.0. In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you new features for Mintera Desktop, such as audio playing, button assignments, and our new models to remove background using color or IA models. Mintera always bringing new stuff for you guys. We have these two GIFs that looks awesome, but the background in the left one kills the vibe a little bit. Thanks to this new update, we are going to open the general menu and select the remove background option. This will erase it using AI models that you can download at our webpage. We have three simple steps. First, select the GIF that you want to edit. Then select the AI model that you want to use. They must have the ONNX extension. After that, select the output folder that you want to use to keep your new GIF. When everything is ready, click on Process GIF and let the AI do its magic. It will take a couple seconds depending on the power of your PC. After it's done, simply go and load your new GIF and compare how splendid it looks now. There is another option if you want to remove certain color of your GIF or image. In the general menu, select the Remove Background by Color option. There you can load your GIF and select certain color that you want to erase. For example, let's erase a bit of blue from the pants of Mario. The threshold works to choose how much similar colors you want to erase. The greater the number, the more similar color are going to be erased, it must be between 1 to 100. Just be sure of not choosing 100%. It would mean to erase all the colors. Also, if you want to resize your GIF, you can check the box below and choose the proportion that you want it to be in the end. Whenever you're done, just click on Save GIF and it will be ready for you to use. Well, we have our GIF ready. But let's add some spice to it, shall we? Over the GIF menu, there's a small sound icon that you can use to add audio to your GIF. Just click on it and select the audio archive that you want to use. Once it's done, you can adjust some setting on the gear icon right above the sound one. The first box plays the audio all the time. The second one just plays it after you press on the GIF. The third box will play the audio only when the GIF is visible to you. The little bar will allow you to choose the volume to be played. You don't want to end up deaf, right? After everything is done, click Save and Enjoy. We recommend restarting Mintera if the audio isn't played immediately. Okay? We have our GIFs, we have audio, now we want to make this a little more dynamic. Let's say that we want to play our favorite games and add some reactions to our gameplays. To use it, first you have to hide the GIF with the Option Hide model on the Tools menu. The new Shortcuts tab in the Tools menu will allow you to assign an action to activate your GIF, such as pressing a key from your keyboard, a click of your mouse, or any button from your gamepad or controller if you're playing. There are two functions. Hide will just pop up and hide the GIF from your screen when the action happens. Hide Audio Game will pop up the GIF and play the audio if it has one. This function will not work if you haven't selected an audio file. In the Activation mode, you have two options. Press will make the GIF appear whenever you press the selected key or button and will make it disappear when you press it again. Hold will show the GIF as long as the key or button selected keeps pressed. Whenever you release it, the GIF will hide. After all the settings are ready, the option below called Detect Input will allow you to choose which button or key you want to use as action to activate your GIF. Just press it when activated and check under the window the selected button or key. If it's the right one, click the Associate Input option to activate it. After that, you can close everything and check if it works properly. Now you can enjoy the full power of Mintera and destroy your enemies. Hola bebé. Ay, 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 ay. Espérate. Chinga tu madre.